Ah, Lenovo. Anyway, because my computer is not working, I can't give you the exact date. But I have a very interesting, very interesting film for you to watch here. Er, I have a very interesting film for me to review for you. And that film is, wait for it, Nudist Colony of the Dead. Now, you, you hear that, you go, Richard, you don't, don't review pornography, and I don't. Nudist Colony of the Dead is just a B-movie. And, as a B-movie, it is, it is one of those films that is so much more fun to film than it would be to watch, that it is just, it's like, this is a really neat concept. What it is, these religious weirdos have shut down a nudist colony, and then all the nudists commit suicide so that they can come back as nude zombies and terrorize the religious people. And you're thinking, yes, that sounds awesome! Oh, did I mention this is a musical? This would work as a serious film. It would. It is a, a serious, a, it sounds cool, but it's a serious enough uh, film so that you could make this work. But they turn it into a musical, but the musical numbers are not at all catchy. I mean, you've got the, the theme song, which I enjoy. Nudist Colony of the Dead! Yes. Yes, love it. You know, can't remember anything beyond that, but I, I enjoyed it. But here, here is the problem there. In terms of a comedy, it's not that funny. The jokes don't land. It is an interesting movie, but it's just... You're, you're more happy this movie exists than, than you say, gee, this is a good movie and I want to see it. That's, that's the problem with Nudist Colony of the Dead. I mean, they all committed suicide, and then there's a graveyard, apparently, on the, the Nudist Colony. So, so you go and you, you go to the Nudist Colony and disturb their uh, behavior there, and they all come back to life and kill you. And for one thing... This is a premise designed to put as many attractive nude women on stage as possible, and you don't get that. There are two women that I, I believe appear nude in this film. They are nude, they're living in nude, and they're dead in nude, and you enjoy that for what it is, but there isn't enough of them to make this movie truly enjoyable. It's primarily they're at the beginning, they're in a short amount uh, close to the end there, and there's not a lot of naked zombie corpse. Which just, you know, it blows my mind. It's like, this is a movie about naked zombie corpses and you don't really have them. And they're, they're almost a side feature to the fact that you've got a bunch of weirdo, redneck religious people getting picked off. And you almost never see any of the action. It's just, you know, it's like, oh, we found a bunch of bodies. Ah, ah what do we do? Oh, no. Like, yeah. I, I, I kind of want to see some dude take down... Naked Zombie Woman. So, again, Nudist Colony of the Day, uh, <laughs> Nudist Colony of the Dead, is what you would expect out of a B-movie. I would even say, for a direct-to-video homebrewed film, this is good for what it is. I have seen actual movies in theaters that are less entertaining. But it's not as clever as it thinks it is. It really isn't. It's, it's a movie with a shoddy premise put together so that some dude could hang around with naked chicks for a day or two. And then that's about... I mean, I would rather make a movie called Nudist Colony of the Dead than watch this movie again, if that makes sense. Again, I'm not saying I didn't enjoy it, but I am saying to get through it, I had to play some video games here. So... Um, down in the comments below there, what I'd like to hear is, do you think they should remake Nudist Colony of the Dead, and would you like to be crew for that movie? That's what I want to hear. Down in the comments below, I'm Richard Leland Neal.